Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Chris here with Hurtastic Reviews. You're probably wondering where the hell I'm at, why am I recording looking like this with nothing cool behind me? The reason uh, I've taken a small little break was because I was transitioning um, my job um, from essential part-time to essential full-time, um, and now I'm essentially tired out of my freaking mind. But the other thing is I have moved to a new place. I'm like the flick pick where if you watch my videos from beginning to now, I'm continuously changing locations. And yeah, that's all I got basically. The humor is getting worse. Uh, but the thing is today, I finished unpacking. I'm all good. I just need to get the, um, the charger uh, batteries for my camera. And then the things will start looking a lot better. So you don't have to hear bad audio, but also, how, you know, I, I at least look a little better. Um, so today... What I'm doing because I noticed Nathan Jones hasn't got his uh, his Criterions out, and uh, well, here's the thing: um, I splashed during the Criterion Barnes and Noble sale. I know I usually never, you know, spend any money on movies, but I figured for today I probably should. And because I'm feeling a little happy about it, I'm gonna drink on camera. Now, Chris Bowie is under 21; he can't watch this video. But here's the thing: oof! Uh, here's the thing: we're gonna do. An unboxing video. I haven't done one of these in forever. This is a literal box. You see if you see here, let's see if I can get it focused. Um, yep, there it is, Barnes and Noble. You can't see it because I don't want anybody to see my address. But here's the thing. Um, yeah, I ordered Blu-rays from Barnes and Noble for the Criterion sale. I originally was just gonna order Arrows because obviously that's the superior boutique label. Uh, and that's what these things are, they're boutiques. Uh, they're, they're a little more fancy, a little more, um, you know, high maintenance, I would also say too. Um, but the Arrow sale was only 30% off instead of the 50% off. So I was like, might as well get more bang for my buck and get some Criterions. So this arrived at my door today. This is uploaded today. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this and continuously drink on YouTube. So I got my knife here. And we're just gonna go at it. Let's just let's just go at it. Also, during this video, I just want to shout out a few people. Nathan Jones, obviously, I love you to death. Um, I love teasing you. Um, the other thing I want to shout out is um, your newest haul video, which has uh, Blu-ray recommendations for the Criterion uh, collection, uh, which I don't exactly co-sign in because I haven't seen all of them. But um, I would take his word on some of those for sure. Um, I also want to shout out. Uh, Elliot Cohen because he did a Arrow recommendation video, which I'm like, if you're gonna get any labels, get Arrow because they're so good. Um, the other person I want to shout out is Heath Holland from Serial at Midnight for putting out an Arrow video as well. It's funny we're talking about Arrow instead of Criterion, um, but you know what? Pretty excited about this. Let's go ahead. Now there is one spoiler here um, that isn't in here because it's not released yet, but I did pre-order Marriage Story because boy, I love that movie so. That was one I ordered, I'll let you know now, that hasn't come in. But the rest of these, so excited to talk about them. The first one right here, it's already open. First one we're gonna talk about is The Awful Truth. Uh, 1937, uh, directed by Leo McCarry. Really don't know much else about the works he's done. I just know that it has Cary Grant. It's a newer release, that's spine number 917. Um, I've been on a Cary Grant kick in some of these screwball comedies. So I definitely wanted to check this out. And it was done for best, best Picture as well. So really excited to check this out. Um, yellow case, yellow is starting to become my favorite color. So this is cool. I hear it's awesome. And I also hear there's um, some critiques of um, the wealthy. So eat the rich, am I right? Um, the next movie, oof, I'm so excited. I saw this um, just because I've always been curious. Uh, that is Terry uh, Zwigoff's uh, Ghost World from 2001. Uh, this is spy number 872. Um, just a dead band, dead pan coming of age college humor movie. Um, it has Scarlett Johansson and it has, um, if you can see bottom right here, Steve Buscemi. And the lead is Thor Birch. I'm not too familiar with her other works, but um, this movie looks like it's animated, but it's actually live action. Um, really interesting ending, and like I said, it's just complete deadpan humor, which is definitely what I'm into because, I mean, I'm pretty dead uh, inside. But yeah, so excited to have this movie. Um, and I can't, this is definitely like a movie I want to re keep rewatching. And it was nominated for screenplay, adapted, because it was a graphic novel. <coughs> oh, geez, I swallowed um, my pride. The next movie, oh, I'm so excited about this one. Howard Hawks, 
His Girl Friday. So this movie, watched it. I, I haven't seen it before, and I watched it like earlier last month. And I texted my friend Daniel, who's a host of Cobwebs, which I definitely recommend listening to. I'm on there if you want to like to hear my annoying voice as well. He talks about just gothic horror movies, really cool stuff. Um, he loves this movie to death, and he recommended The Philadelphia Story, which I just rewatched. And I was like, I still like it. You know, it's really good. Um, I don't absolutely love it, but I still really enjoy it. But His Girl Friday was the second one he recommended. And my God, this is a perfect movie. It is critical uh, per Howard Hawks. And... Um, the comedy is amazing. Again, Cary Grant. Um, there's one scene at the very beginning where it has Rosalind Russell as the lead. Um, they're they're divorced, and um, she notices that Cary Grant, who they're both paper um, writers in the newspaper, and he's like trying to convince her to write a story, and she goes like, "Oh, Walter, I love you in a loathsome kind of way." And I was like, "Yep, this is my movie right here. This movie is amazing." Um, and it has, I believe, a short as well um, of another movie from 19 called The Front Page from 1937, I believe. So. Definitely one of the more expensive, even at half off, because it's um, $25 out of the 20. So don't do the math on how much I spent here. Please, just don't. Ah, the next movie um, is Jean-Pierre Melville's Les Samurai. Now, I'm so excited about this because Daniel has seen it as well. But I have been seeing a lot more Melville, and uh, this is one that isn't in... Oh, let me go ahead and grab something before we even talk about this. Bam! I bought this uh, from Studio Canal, the, the Essential Jean-Pierre Melville um, collection, which has uh, six films on here. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I believe it's six films. And I know I'm talking about Criterions, but not pull, talking in. I mean, I, I didn't, this isn't a Criterion. This is Studio Canal, which they do a lot of good work. It's a Region B. Um, this thing is enormous. Um, it has six films. It has P, uh, Liam Maureen Priest, which is an amazing um uh, Jean-Pierre Melville film. I'm geeking out. It has Lee Flick, the last film from Melville, which I started watching and I really enjoyed. Um, it also has uh, so much more I haven't seen. Army of Shadows, which is another one I've seen. Um, and there's a couple more. This thing is freaking phenomenal. I can't wait to keep going through. It's a gorgeous set. But The Last Samurai wasn't on here, and I was recommended to watch it. So, um, just Pierre Melville, French cinema at its finest, obviously. Um, I stand that um, type of filmmaking, so oh, can't wait to watch *The Samurai*. I hear so many great things about it. Uh, you know what? One thing I do want to talk about. Um, we're just talking about labels, and I'm already messing it up because it's supposed to be about Criterion's. But man, *Screen Factory* has announced some amazing things that definitely got me chubby, and. Uh, that probably wasn't really good to say on YouTube, but I'm just super excited. Like the Friday the 13th collection, I am so freaking excited. There was a Warner Archive sale, and you know I dipped my fingers in that. Oh, the, the liquor, man. And uh, there's just so many more sales. Um, Arrow's having a camp sale, and uh, I just definitely split a cart with somebody. I'm not going to name names, so I'm pretty excited about that, and I definitely want to keep buying more Arrows. Um, but you know what? Without further ado, it's pro it's it's a t it's up there as one of my favorites from this director who I love and it, it it's been noted on this channel. But I just watched this movie, which I haven't seen in like since like high school, and I rewatched it and I almost rewatched it right. I got like a, another halfway through it until I was like, okay, I'm not gonna just watch this movie right after I just saw it again. But it that just throws how much shows how much I just love this movie, and it's a newer release too. It's Billy Wilder's Some Like It Hot. My God, this movie's perfect. It's phenomenal. It's hilarious. Tony Curtis, Jack Lemmon, and the freaking gorgeous Marilyn Monroe by directed by the genius that is Billy Wilder. So I am so happy to have these movies. Um, yeah, just just a great haul. I didn't order anything else. I don't think I am. I did miss out on 12 Angry Men. Uh, you too, Mama Tambien. Um, what else did I have to put away? a few other things but most of the aero stuff i was going to pick up so you know um i got a few warner archives coming out so i definitely want to be talking about those i'm glad to be back on this uh the channel for a little bit i mostly like to work on my podcast because um i, I sound better than i look and um i just like to be more serious i don't have to like garner views because obviously it's hard to get views looking like this but um i do love the podcast um yeah, that's at the Hurtastic Podcast. I'll put a link to that down below. We're on Spotify. We're on iTunes. Um, I start, I'm start. i starting to like upload them here on the channel so you can just watch. I need to work on a vi visuals for that. 
I um, also love the community. I was talking to Nathan Jones maybe like in May or June, and I was like, you know what? I really love this community that I somehow became a part of and connecting with people, so many fantastic people. Um, I was even telling Daniel with the podcasting on Twitter, there's so many great podcasters and like local followers and like guests, and it's just amazing. I'm just so happy to be a part of it. Um, I'm really excited and like hyper because I drink like two Red Bulls and two things of coffee at work today, and I worked eight hours, and but in our alcohol. I'm a quick shout out, Chris Bowie. You did a fantastic um, uh, appreciation video. I need to do one of those so soon, so then like people know I'm not just a, a jerk off. I'm just like I'm actually appreciative to be mentioned with all these other great people that are on YouTube and, and on the podcasting circuit. But I really want to shout out. Obviously Nathan Jones. I see him all the time, so he knows I always like to you know kiss his ass. And then uh, Chris Bowie. You know my you're like my little brother almost. You know we have the same name, and we I love hearing your comments and watching grow with your movie knowledge. Um, obviously, I love Heath Holland has Cereal at Midnight, Chef's Kiss on all of the, uh, the, the videos and the content you put out. Um, Daisuke always, you know, I think he really motivated me to do more. Um, Ellie Cohen, I always love to tune in and listen to that beautiful voice that you have and just the visual. It's just, oh, it's just beautiful uh, crafts, camera work and vid audio just from someone who do likes to do that stuff really good channel uh david harrington i'm so glad you're doing stuff still um it's always great to check on what you're doing um if i've missed anybody else I, i'm not sure um i've been watching uh so many other new guys that i'll and, and women that i'll have to um lauren's collection speaking of women um she might have like the arrow collection i've always wanted um she lives in the uk and uh that's i can't travel there to sneak in and like grab all her movies including her alien collection um but yeah, anyway, uh, I'm going to be rambling, but you know what? My name's Chris here at Hurtastic Reviews, and uh, if you're not collecting boutique label cinema, are you really a fan of film? Anyway, we'll see you next time.